Hello, Verbling.com students. This is Jeff Watson here. I am looking for Verbling.com students who want to work on their grammar. This hour, we are going to focus on how we, native speakers in English, use the present, uh, use the perfect tenses in conversation. And this hour, I am looking for students who are ready to participate 100% with lots of questions and uh, lots of creative ideas on how they can use the perfect tenses in a conversation to share information about themselves and to ask questions and find out information from other people. All right. And uh, just as always, if I could please ask everyone to keep their microphones muted. Uh, the Google uh, technology is that you cannot hear the sound that's coming from your microphone. And so please, if ever. And someone oh. has muted my microphone. <laughs> All right. So, uh, if everyone please can keep their microphones muted. And it's very important for students to use headphones and earphones so that we eliminate the echo in the background. And you also need to turn off the verbling.com transmission of this class that will eliminate the echo that the rest of us hear. All right, great. So there's no time. This is, this is a grammar class, so there is no time. And again, I need to ask everyone to please keep their microphones muted. So microphones are turned off, please. And uh, there's no time for introductions. We're going to get started right away. So I'd like to bring the uh, document up onto the screen share. And we are going to start by talking about asking a question that's very, very common in English. Uh, and this is, have you ever done? Have you ever done something in your life? And so, uh, if I could get um, Alex, could you uh, just quickly say hello and, and tell us where you're connecting from? Alex, are you there? You, you'll need to turn on your microphone now. So, uh, we, we cannot hear you, Alex. Ah, uh, hello. Yes, are you there now? Yes, great. Uh, hello, uh, I'm from Russia. Okay. Good evening. Great. And yes, yes, thank you. And so, uh, could you read the information that's on the screen there, please? Oh, so I, I, I not, I not see any information. Okay, you, you. Uh, now I'm using the screen share to show information and so could you please click on the small video image at the bottom to put it on the big screen okay do you see the text on the screen now ah yes have you ever done something okay this text please perfect yes please go ahead Yeah, Alex? Okay. Uh, you need to turn on your microphone again, Alex. Oh, we, we cannot hear you, Alex. 
please turn on your microphone. Okay, so I'll I'll give him a minute to uh, get things sorted out. Ahmad, are you there? Yeah, Jeff, I'm here. I'm Ahmad. I'm from Syria. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, great. So, could you read the information that's on the screen, yeah. please? Have you ever done something in your life? Has for he, she, it? Yes mm -hmm. or no? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't done that. Yes, I have done that. No, I have never done that. No, never. <laughs> okay. So this is one of my grammar lessons. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. <laughs> no. <laughs> so uh, these kinds of questions. Have you ever done something? And the implication usually is at some time in your life. Uh, this is a very common conversation question. And so, uh, for example, um, you know, have you ever uh, traveled somewhere? Have you ever, uh, yeah, okay, we're, we're going to move on. So we have the short answers and medium answers and the longer answers. So great. Uh, and uh, Emerson, could you uh, quickly say hello and tell us where you're calling from? Hi, hello for everyone. Uh, I am from Brazil, um, Sao Paulo. Um, okay. And, uh, uh, and, okay. And so what, what I'd like to do is I'd, I'd like to get uh, everybody to participate in this. And so we'll, we'll, each of us will have a turn. Now what I would like is to, for everyone to please think of a friend or a couple, so this is uh, two people together, uh, who have traveled a lot. Someone, anyone who you know or two people who travel together. Uh, who has traveled a lot. All right? And so what I'd like to do is I would like to bring these questions up on the screen. And what I would like each person to do is to uh, choose two or three questions to answer about these people that they have, uh, that they know. All right, and so Emerson, could you um, tell us who you would like to talk about? Is, is there someone who you know who has done lots of traveling? Um, Can you think of someone? Someone that I know. Some yes. people, my friend, and for it, example. Okay. Yes, <laughs> or or it could be you if if you've done some uh, travel. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. I have a friend that uh, travel a lot to Africa, especially. Oh. Uh, today okay. He he works in in Angola, in Luanda. Okay. Uh, and have have you ever gone traveling with him? Uh, not to Africa, <laughs> but no. to next to but to United States also. Uh, okay, great. And so, uh, do you know what his favorite trip was? Uh, which of his trips uh, was his favorite trip? Uh, uh, of my friend, of course. Uh, yeah. I, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I yeah. I I I bet that probably was to Ireland. Ah. Okay. So yeah, he has. Is. He, he has been me, to Ireland. Yeah, yeah. He told me a lot about uh, Ireland. Okay, great. And let me ask you one more question. Has he ever gotten sick during one of his trips? Uh, you know, I'm thinking maybe to Africa. <laughs> uh, in Africa, uh, no, I don't remember. But in the United States, I remember uh, he, he got sick and he went to the hospital. <laughs> in, oh, he had to yeah, go to the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Uh, All right. He, 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 he got uh, a virus. Uh, okay. I, I don't know I exactly hope, what. I hope he had one. medical insurance. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes. All right. Now, that was perfect. All right. And so, Franz, hello. Could you please just tell the group where you're connecting from? You need to turn on your microphone. So everybody needs to look on the Google Hangout screen for the image of the microphone. Yeah. Okay. I I I'm connecting from Italy. Okay, great, Franz. And so, uh, who would you like to talk about? You can talk about yourself. You can talk about one person or a couple or a family. No, I talk about my myself. Okay. All right. So, uh, which which questions uh, should I ask you? Pick three questions. <laughs> Two questions, okay. Yeah. yeah, and if everyone could do this, pick. Okay, pick, uh, I have. Uh, sorry. So, wh which question? 
Which question would you like me to ask you? Okay, the number three. How long okay. have they... Sorry, I'll, been I'll ask you. Uh, how long have you been traveling for? Okay, I'm traveling. Uh, I have traveled, sorry, in... Um, um, to, so, uh, sorry, I, so, I have been traveling for... Ah, okay, I have been traveling for... Um, Praga and... Uh, and uh, and uh, Barcelona. Oh, okay. So those are mm -hmm. the places where you have been. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to ask you question number one. Uh, question number one uh, is where have you traveled to? Ah, okay. So yeah, I have uh, I have traveled to Barcelona and uh, Praga. Okay. Excellent. All right, great. Okay. And so, which which one of those trips was your favorite trip? My favorite trips is uh, my favorite trip is uh, to Praga. Ah, oh, great. Okay. And then let me ask you another question. Uh, during your trips, during your travels, have you ever had anything stolen, or have you ever been robbed? I don't know stolen and a rob. Sorry. Uh, okay, this is when someone takes something from you illegally. When when they take something that is yours illegally. Illegally. Can can, can you write? Uh, sorry. A, for... uh, a a criminal takes something from you. E and you need to call the police? Uh, sorry, uh, you, you still don't understand? Are you there? No, no. Oh, you, you don't understand. So, Franz, during your trip... Yeah? Yeah? Have you ever had something robbed or stolen from you? Taken oh, okay. from you. Mm -hmm. This is question 10. Stole or... Sorry. Mm. A criminal taking something from you. I don't understand the crime. Uh, okay. Now, what I'd like you to do is, can you Google and translate the question? And, okay. And I will come back to you. Thank you. <clears throat> and so, uh, Lincoln. Are you there? there? Hello? Yes. Hello. Yes. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Uh, now, you, now, you have, sorry, Lincoln, sorry, Lincoln, you have an echo. echo. You, need to, you need to eliminate the echo, the echo that we hear. Oh, is that right? Uh, so, it, so it's, it's better, better to use, to use headphones, headphones or earphones, or, earphones, or you or also you need also to turn to on the verbally.com website. website. Okay. I'll come back to you in, in a minute. Uh, Lucini, are you there? Luis, Luis, me. I'm sorry. Yes. 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 Hello. 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 Uh, where Where are you connecting from? Uh, I'm connecting from Spain. Okay. Great. And so, who would you like to talk about? Who is the Who is the traveler that you would like to talk about? I uh, I travel. I uh, I make the the last travel to London. Okay, you would like to travel to? Oh, okay, so where else have you traveled to besides London? Where else have you gone? Uh, uh, weekend. Sorry, this is number one. So ah, where, sorry. Where, where else have you traveled to? What other cities or countries have you traveled to? Uh, uh, in, in Portugal. Lisboa. Okay, I have uh, gone. I have gone I to. Have, yes, I have gone to uh, Portugal. Okay. And Italy. Italy. Uh, great. Italy. Right. Uh, and uh, France also. Okay. And uh, have you ever gone back to the same place more than once? This is question number six. Uh, I haven't uh, ever gone back. 
No, you, you have never gone back to the same place more than once? Uh, no, I haven't. No. Okay, good. You like to go to new places. All right. Yeah. And um, are you going to continue traveling? Do you enjoy traveling? Yes. Uh, sorry. And, and, and yeah, you enjoy traveling. And where is your next trip going to be? I would like uh, to visit uh, USA in the in the next travel. Uh, on the next trip. On the next trip, yes. Yeah, that's what we say. The trip. All right, excellent. Okay, great. And so I'm I'm going to go back to Franz. Franz, hello. Yes. Hello, Franz. Yes. Uh, so uh, on one of your trips, have you ever had something stolen? Or taken from you? Okay, no, 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 no. I, I have, um, I don't, no, I haven't um, stolen in my trip. I, I have never had anything uh -huh. stolen. Okay, I have. Can you repeat? I ever met? I have never had. Never had. Okay. Anything stolen? Anything. Thank you. Stolen. Yeah. Yeah. Stolen. Okay. Great. <laughs> Thank you All so right. much. Anything stolen? I'm going to put it in the uh, chat box. I have never had anything stolen. That would be the question. All right, great. And uh, Lincoln, are you there? Link? Sorry, I'm yes, going hi. to the next person. Oh, Lincoln. Yes, yes, hello. Great. Hi. Sounds much better. Uh, <laughs> so, who would you like to talk about? I would like to pick. Um, uh, Question 11, which okay. trip was uh, my favorite trip? Ah, so which, which, which was your favorite trip? Uh, I'm calling from uh, uh, Toronto, uh, Canada. Great. And uh, I went uh, to the North Pole last, uh, last March. So you have been to the North Pole? I have been to the North Pole. Like, wow. Uh, up, yes. <laughs> And I've explored, uh, I've seen the polo pair, and uh, we built the, the igloo. Yeah, you built an igloo. An uh, igloo. Did, you, did you sleep in the igloo? Yes. <laughs> okay, so you have, <laughs> you have slept in an igloo. I have slept in the igloo. And, okay. Uh, and also the, the dog sliding. It was uh, very, very unique. Uh, so you have gone experience. dog sledding. I have done dog sledding. Uh, you have gone? I yeah, have gone. Yes. Gone have. dog sledding. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm uh, Canadian, and I have never done any of those things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but I, I've slept in, a, in an igloo or, uh, yeah, but okay, great. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Excellent thank you. examples. Awesome. <laughs> All right, and, and Samir, hello. Hello, teacher. Yes, and uh, yes. where are you connecting from? Uh, uh, I am from Saudi Arabia. My name is Samir Suleiman. Yes, and so who would you like to talk about, someone who has been traveling? Okay. I don't know. You can ask me any questions. Well, uh, but uh, who would you like to talk about? You? Have you done some traveling? Okay, about me. You can ask me yeah, about. Yeah. Okay. Me. All right. Great. And so, uh, where where have you traveled to? Question number one. Where have okay. you traveled to? I have traveled to Egypt. Okay. To study in uh, university. Okay. Uh, I'm studying uh, accounting. All right. Great. Great. Okay. And uh, where else have you traveled to? Uh, Outboard, uh, did you mean outboarder or inboarder? Well, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, please tell me other places where you have been. Okay. It could I, be within your country or outside of your country. Uh, outboarder, I haven't, uh, I, I have never had, uh, I, I have never had, uh, I don't know what I, I don't travel to any country yeah. except uh, so Egypt. You, oh, okay, so you have never traveled anywhere else? 
Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. And yes. then, uh, so, um, what what was the most amazing thing that you saw in Egypt? Okay. The most uh, I I visit visit uh, to the parliament and uh, uh, have have fun with my friends. Oh, okay. To visit to visit the parliament. Uh, the That's parliament buildings in Egypt? Yeah, yeah. All right, great, thank you. All thank right. You. And and so I'm going to go to Alex. Are you there, Alex? Alex, hello. Is your microphone working? I'm No, I'm sorry, we still can't hear you, Alex. Uh and so uh Alar Alarbe Talan Al Alarbe Talal, are you there? Okay, yes. and yes, hello, welcome. Where where are you connecting from? I'm from uh, Riyadh. Uh, I'm sorry, where are you from? Could you repeat where you were from? Hello? Hello? Yes, where are you from? Hello? Uh, hello, where are you from? I'm from uh, Riyadh city. Ah, oh, Real. Ah, in Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Ah, oh, yes, okay. And uh, who would you like to talk about? Someone who has done some no, not dance. Traveling. Mm, up to you. Ask Have me. you ever traveled? Traveled? Yes. What's the name? All right. And Tra number two, please. Well, uh, you'll you'll need to uh, translate that. It, it's to go to another country or go to another city. I I don't understand that. Uh, what, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So. The meaning yeah. Of what the question? Yeah. So, uh, to uh, please try to translate some of the vocabulary so that you understand. Okay. Ask so, me. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I, well, uh, uh, have you done any traveling to other countries? Traveling. Yes. So the word is on the screen. If you can translate the word so that you understand, and I, I'm going to come back to you. Thank you. And uh, Thank you. Christian, are you are you there? Hello, Christian. Okay, we we cannot hear you, Christian. And so, uh, Emad, hello. Yeah, yes, I'm here. Yes, okay. And yeah. now, okay. Um, who would you like to talk about? Now, uh, okay, I'll talk about my talk. Yeah, okay. Now, uh, and so, uh, what, what questions interest you the most? <laughs> uh, it could pick any one of them. Okay, um, so, uh, who have you traveled alone? Or have you gone traveling with friends or family? Uh, I usually travel with family. I okay. have been traveling. Can I say I've been traveling with my family? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you you usually travel with your family? Yes. And, and, and okay. This, okay. I'm uh, I'm making a fake story, so. It's not true. No, but but don't. No. <laughs> okay. okay, but have you ever yeah. traveled alone? Uh, yeah, I have traveled uh, once alone. I have traveled once alone. And and where did you go? Uh, I have been to uh, Turkey. Oh, you you went you went to Turkey. Yeah. The, Is this correct? Uh, on, if I said. I have been when I have been to Turkey. Now, but uh, usually when we ask these questions, 
with mm -hmm. this is present perfect so I said have you ever traveled alone and then really the answer is yes I have yes, I, I went have. to Turkey oh okay yes I have I went yeah. to Turkey okay, okay great all right and where else have you been uh, what other I places have, been... have you been to okay I have been to Jordan okay I have uh, been in Jordan or I have went to Jordan. To? Jordan. You have been to Jordan? Okay. And yeah. have you been anywhere else? Uh, I also have been to Paris. Oh, wow. great. <laughs> okay, excellent. And then in all of your travels, have you ever had problems with your flights, with the airplanes? Yes. I have ha uh, I have had many trouble with my uh, packages. Ah, with your luggage. Yeah, with my luggage. Yeah. Okay. You, you, uh, and and so you have had problems with your luggage. Uh, what yeah. what happened? Yeah. When I uh, when uh, it was the, uh, so I I'll start. Uh, when I had to, uh, when I reached. To uh, Paris, my luggage uh, wasn't there. They uh, <laughs> okay. uh, they were lasted or uh, not found. Uh, okay, I had trouble. Okay, okay. sorry, I'm I I'm going to move on, but that that's great. Thank okay. you, Iman. Thank you. Okay, all right. And Thank so uh, I'm having a little trouble with my computer. It, it's working very very slowly. <laughs> but what I'd like to do is uh, to move the document on to uh, these uh, questions that are sort of a general questions and I'd like everyone to pick one of these questions and answer it and so I'm hoping that people can see that now uh, please you, you can choose any question you want something that is interesting for you alright and so what I'd like is uh, do I have a volunteer of someone who would like to go first And again, this tense is present perfect, and it's used a lot in conversations. Uh, so, do I have a student? Yes. Can yes. I, okay. it, yeah, I'm go ahead, help. please. Okay. Uh, I start with number two. Number two. Okay. So, how many concerts have you been to in your life? Uh, I have been. To a uh, couple of cancers. Okay. okay. Just two? Uh, you, yeah, you've only two. been to two concerts? Okay. So which which one was the was the best? The best one was the Hairscare concert uh, in Dubai. All right. And who was singing or playing? Uh, Oh, uh, let's say Michael Jackson, for example. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so your Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. concert was the best. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so Michael you Jackson was was singing there. You have gone to a Michael Jackson concert. You have been to a Michael Jackson concert. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, Believe and so thank that. you, Emma. Uh, do I have that. another? Do I have another volunteer? I can. Yes, great. Uh, friends, okay. excellent. I, I want to respond to to number four. Have you ever? Okay, taken... let me read it for you. So, okay. have you ever taken an English course at an institute or a university? Okay. Yes, I have. Uh, I have um, I have taken the course at my university, but the the results is poor is uh, is poor uh, because you, I, yeah you did not like the course. No 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 I like the course I like ah. um, I like it but uh, the the, res the results for me is um, is uh, is um, ah. is um, is, um, is low is low I don't uh, I don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, yeah. no, no. I don't. Uh, 
Go ahead, please. I don't. Aspetta, uh, imparare, non si solo, eh? Sorry, I, I understand. You, you did I, not. I don't learn uh, anything. Okay. Did not do well. You did not get good marks. Come? Sorry? Hello, are you there? Yes, yes. no, I, I, I... You did not get good marks? Yes, uh, uh, all right, I, I have... Um, I, I have got uh, a less uh, marks at the, co at the course. Uh, okay, yeah, low marks. Low marks, low So, marks. have you ever failed... So, are, are you listening? Uh, have you ever failed an English test? Yes, I have, uh, I have failed in my English test. <laughs> okay. All right, great. All right, thank, thank you. you. Uh, who's thank who's you. next? Who's next? I need another volunteer, please. This these are the kinds of questions that we use in uh in uh English conversations. Uh, and just quickly, Emad, uh, luggage and baggage is the same. But many times when I say baggage, luggage someone baggage will correct. Same. Will correct it. Will say luggage. No, but yeah. I, I thought you said uh, it, earlier. I thought you said package, packages. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. And so, oh, okay. Pedro, are are you there? Pedro. So who's who's next? I, I need a student to volunteer. I can. Okay, great, excellent. Uh, ah, Mil Milhais. Yes. Yes. Okay. So which question uh, is interesting for you? I chose the first question. Okay. So Milhais, uh, have you ever done anything totally crazy? Um, actually, yes, I. Tried bungee jumping. Oh, you have gone bungee jumping? Yes. Okay, and did you enjoy it? Yes, I like how adrenaline pumped up in my, uh, my, um, how to say, uh, organism. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. And so, have you ever done anything else? Have you ever done any other extreme activities? Yes, I like extreme sports like snowboarding. Okay. And that's all. Oh, no, awesome. Thank you. That was perfect. Thank you for your participation. Uh, okay. Someone else? So, I, I, and again, I, I want to make sure that the students know I'm, I'm here to help you. Is there someone else? Uh, that's a chance. Yes. Yes, great. Samir. Oh. Uh, number three. Okay, good. <clears throat> All right, Samer, have you ever yes. flown in a plane? And if so, where did you go? I yes, I have. Uh, I have uh, flown. I have flown by plane to yes. to Egypt. Okay. All right. And uh, uh, did you enjoy the experience? Yes, I enjoy. Okay. Excellent. All right. And have you ever uh, traveled on a train? No. no. No? No, you haven't? No, I haven't. Okay. Because All in right. uh, my country, no, uh, didn't, uh, we, we haven't uh, train. We, we, we don't have trains. Okay. Yes. All right. Good. No, that okay. was perfect. That was perfect. Okay. Thank you, Samir. Uh, yeah. another, another student? Last chance. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to the next idea. And this is another uh, perfect tense construction uh, that we use in conversations. And it's this question here. What have you been doing lately? All right, and so uh, let me see. What I would like to do is, now somebody has their microphone on, can hear an echo. 
So if everyone could please keep their microphones turned off or muted for us, please. And so, uh, Alex, are you there? Alex? Francev? Yes, yes, I'm yep. here. I'm here. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Uh, uh, where, where, where are you connecting from? Uh, I'm connecting from Russia, Moscow. Uh, okay, great. And so, could you read the questions that are on the screen, please? Uh, yes. Uh, what have you been doing uh, lately? Lately? Uh, lately. Uh, mm -hmm. What have you been up to lately? Uh, I have been using a new website called uh, Roblin.com. Uh, what has she <laughs> been doing lately? Uh, what? Has she been up? Oh, uh, lately. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, I understand this uh, construction. No, no, no. But please, could you? Uh, what has he been up to lately? Uh, Sorry. Could you just read the examples for us? Uh, I'll help you. Uh, yes, uh, if 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 I um, true um, understand this equation. Uh, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Uh, if you could just read the sentences, please. Please uh, just read. Uh, I have, I have oh, been. No, oh, Alex. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Sorry, uh, please only read the sentence, please. Okay, okay. Uh, Thank you. What have you been uh, doing la lately? What have you been up to lately? Uh, I have been using a new website called Verblin dot 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 com. Uh, what has she been? doing lately what has he been up to lately they we been work working a lot okay, okay. so thank you excellent thank you uh, teacher uh, sorry you, yes go ahead can please you, can i have a okay. uh, i have um, I, I have a question which is the difference between uh, uh, the, f the first and the second question yeah, no, uh, they're really, in a conversation, there is no difference. Ah, okay, it's the same? Yes, it's ah, the same okay. idea. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, and what we want to know is something new. Recently, or lately. Ah, okay. 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 Awesome. And so I'm going to go to the next person, uh, and that is uh, Christian. Are you there? Uh, no. Uh, so uh, Emma, could you please read yeah. the, the sentences? Just a minute, please, because the screen is going now. Okay. So, have you been doing anything interesting lately? So, uh, how have things been going? Uh, what? Oh, sorry, no. Oh, okay. What's been going on in your part of the world? I haven't seen someone. Else. Yeah. For a while. What have they been doing? Okay. Oh, so we have two people. Or plural. Uh, sorry. No. Uh, now in English we often refer to one person as they. As they? Yes. Yeah. Uh, if you're talking about a person, one person, and you don't know whether they are a man or a woman, or oh. it, it's not important, you can refer to them as they. It's formal way. If I don't know if she, he or she, yeah. I know they. they. Okay. No yeah. problem. Good. All right. It's okay. it's very common. So again, just to repeat that for people, it's very common to refer to a single person as they in English. You're only talking about one person. 
All right. And so what I would like to do is to ask all of you, what have you been doing lately? So I would like you to tell me something interesting that you have been doing recently. It should be something new, something different that you have been doing lately. All right, and so do I have a, a volunteer who would like to tell the group what they have been doing lately? You can, Emerson, I can talk. Yes, great. Okay. Go ahead, then, Emerson. Uh, I so what have, you, what, what have you been up to lately? <laughs> oh, okay, I spent uh, time with my, my family, with my son, because my okay. son vi visit me uh, three or four times uh, uh, a, week, a year. <laughs> oh, okay, so you have been spending time. Could you repeat that? Okay, uh, I have been spending time with my son. Awesome, perfect. Okay. Yeah, excellent. Thank you. And uh, another student, please, who would like to? Uh, what have you been doing? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. great. Uh, now uh, I don't know who is speaking. Uh, Samir. Yeah. Yes, Samir. Yes. Okay, Samir, go ahead, please. Okay. What's the question? Now, what have you been doing lately? Uh, okay. Uh, I have uh, been uh, serving uh, Facebook. Ah, okay. Now, uh, is this something new? Yes. Uh, okay. So you have recently started using Facebook? Not new. Uh, ah. It is... Uh, uh, <clears throat> it's what I'm doing lately, I mean. Uh, it's what you have been doing lately. All right. Yes. So uh, you can maybe say that you have been uh, using Facebook a lot. Okay. Yes. Okay. More than usual. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, the idea behind the conversational question is the person who is asking the question is looking for something new. They're looking for something different. Uh, something interesting. All right. So great. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, uh, someone you. else? Yes. Yes. Uh, go ahead, please. Uh, Jorge. Yes. Uh, so what have you been? What have you been doing lately? Well, I have been watching TV at the same time that I here. So uh, you've been watching a lot of television. Yes, I have been watching TV at the same time okay. that I can. But sometimes? At the same time, in the same time. Uh, okay. Now, are you, have you been watching more television than usual? Uh, more or less. Yes, more than usual. Yes. Okay, so why have you been watching more television lately? Why? Yeah, why? Repeat the question, please. Uh, I can understand. Why have you been watching more television lately? Sorry, I can, I can hear you because it's raining right now. Okay, I have the question in the chat box, I hope. Why have you been watching more TV lately? Oh, because uh, there are a new series. Oh, okay. All right, that's perfect. So you have been watching a new TV series. Yes. All right, excellent example. Great job. Excellent. Okay, Thank who's you. next? <laughs> Thank you, Jorge. Uh, can I go on? Yes. Hey, man. Okay. I have been practicing on first aid assist, uh, assistance. First oh, aid? Assistance. Uh, uh, how to perform, how uh, to perform first aid. So, so you, you, have been, you have been taking a first aid course? Yeah. How, oh, I should, should say taking? 
Well, you you have been taking a course? Yeah. Yeah. You have been okay. studying first aid? Yeah. Okay, excellent. And uh, what kind of first aid have you been studying? I think first aid uh, is only one course. I don't know, but uh, how General? to get injection, how to get injection, yeah. Oh, how to, that's... How to get st stitches. And... Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> so that's, that's more medical, medical training. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's the second level of the first aid. It sounds very advanced. Okay, no, excellent. very advanced level for college students. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I have been taking a first aid course, or you have been studying first aid. All right, excellent. Great example. Do we have another example? Yeah, I can. Yes, great. Hey, welcome, Pedro. Hello. Where, uh, where are you connecting from? Uh, I'm from Brazil. Okay. Uh, so, so what have you been doing lately? Have you been doing anything new lately? <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been watching Carnival. Ah, okay. Now you've been watching it. Watching, uh, uh, okay. Car Carnival. Do you know? Uh, yes. Oh, well, everybody knows Carnival. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. And so, um, and, and have you Janine. been participating in the no, no. in the carnival? No. No, just just wa watch. Okay. Just watching. Uh, yeah, live. Have you been going to the events in person, or have you been watching the events on TV? Uh, on TV. On TV. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, and is it uh, is this year a good celebration? Yes. Has it been a, good? Yes, it's a, it's a good celebration on my culture. Uh, the okay. culture in Brazil is is. Uh, commemoration, you know. Okay, excellent, great, thank you. Thank and you. Emma, Emma is saying that he has been studying or he has been preparing for the TOEFL yeah. test. All right, excellent. Yeah, well, yeah. Which is which one is the best to say? Well, both, both is fine. Okay. Both is fine. Studying for or preparing for. That's that's perfect. Okay, and someone else. One more example. Okay, so I'm going to move on to another uh, perfect tense question that we use a lot in conversations in English. And again, you're trying to have interesting conversations. And so uh, what I'd like to do is to... Uh, Emerson, could you please read these questions for us? Ah, so Samer has been playing football lately. All right. Uh, Emerson, are you there? Yes. Uh, do, do you like to read the, the, the sentences? Please, please. Could okay. you read the sentences? Okay, but you, you changed the page? I yes, still, I did. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I still uh, see the same <laughs> page. Okay, it, it, it will change. Uh, Jorge, it says the first one is something that happened, but you don't say the specific time. And the second one is something that began in the past and continues until the present. And so, uh, Jorge, I think when you say, what have you been doing lately? Ah, right. That's good. You're, you're totally correct, Jorge. It's correct. So the, the first type of question that we asked happened in the past. Uh, so Emerson, do you see the new text yet? Yes, now it's okay. Please um, go ahead. Uh, how long has it, uh, it been since you did something? Okay. Continue. Please, uh, yeah. When was the last time you did something? How long have you been doing, uh, doing something for? How long have you been something? Or, or uh, I haven't had a day off for two months. Ooh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. 
And so, great. These are excellent conversation questions. And so, um, uh, who can tell me the last time they went to the beach? How long has it been since you went to the beach? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes? Okay. Uh, I Sorry. have been. Uh, yeah? Uh, is this. Uh, oh, no. Samim. Yes, sir. Yeah? Okay, I have. So, I have. Okay, I have been going to the beach since uh, one month. Okay, so the last time you went to the beach? Well, four four months, not since. Four four months ago. Yes. And and just oh, uh, so sorry, Anna. We need you to keep your microphone muted, please. Thank you. And, and so, great. All right. So, the last time you went to the beach was four months ago. Yes. Okay. So, I have not been to the beach for four months. Yes. Okay, great. Someone else can tell me Maybe, uh, how long has it been since you went to see a movie in the theater? How long has it been since you went out to dinner at a restaurant? Pedro? Do you, okay. Do you have a, yeah? Uh, I, I've, uh, I've been, all right? No, well, it, it depends what you want to say. Just go ahead and share something. Okay. Uh, how long has it been since you did something, all right? Okay, good, perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so you maybe say, it, it, I haven't, or it has been. Mm -hmm. Okay, I haven't, I haven't uh, been for uh, a, a restaurant for two weeks. Okay. Okay. All right. So okay. it has been two weeks since you went to a restaurant. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Uh, and uh, good, thank you. Excellent. Uh, someone else, please? Yes, this is uh, me. Great, please go ahead. Uh, George, please, I want to read the, the third question. Oh, okay. So how long have you been doing something for? So. What 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 are we talking about? Okay, I have been making a post for uh, for three days. Uh, so what have you been making or a taking? A course. A post. A post. What what kind of course? Uh, let me see. Um, let me write. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, cartoon post. Typing? Sorry? So you have been taking a typing course for no. three? I have been making a cartoon post about the phrasal verb. Oh, or phrasal that. verbs. Okay, great. <laughs> All right. And uh, good. So, and, and in general, uh, how long have you been studying English for? Hello? Hello? The Hello? person who, who was just talking, did we, did we lose him? It's me. Okay. Who was just talking? <laughs> Janio. Well, oh, oh, all right, Janio. Oh, oh, hello, welcome. So you were talking about the phrasal verb course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So how long have you been studying English for? I've been studying English since I was a child. Mm, okay. When I was two years old. Oh, okay. I have to say other thing about me. I've never, I ha have not been to a movie before. You have never been to a movie? Yeah. Wow, really? In your whole life, you have never been to see a movie? 
No, never. I'd like to know. <laughs> I'd like. I'd okay. like to know how, how it is. Okay. All right, great. Well, well, when you go, you need to buy popcorn. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Good example. That's very interesting. Uh, and and so, anyone else? Remember, I'm here to help you. So I'm I, I'm looking. I can. Alex. I, uh, yeah. Okay, I Pedro. Can. Um, I've been I've been studying English since two years ago. Oh, okay. Now hold on. I've been studying English for two years. Okay, I'm sorry. That sounds better. Okay. I've been. I, yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Excellent. All right. So, uh, another example. Yes. I'm, uh, Alex. Hey, Josh. Alex. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Yes. Jorge. Okay. Go ahead, please. Ah, okay. Uh, I have gotten a study. Uh, sorry. I have gotten finished English three months ago. Oh, uh, I have been. I have been practicing my English. Okay. You have been practicing your English for how long? Three months. Three months. Okay. Great. Uh, uh, do, you, uh, do you hear the first uh, the first song? The sample. Number one? Okay, the first sample that I thought was uh, I've gotten uh, I've gotten finished my English three months ago. It's called uh, uh, But an English course? Yes. Okay, so you finished it. So you have uh, you have not been studying English. Now I I'm sorry I don't understand your point. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Uh, the the thing that I want trying to tell you is that I uh, I got and finishes my course in English two years uh, two months ago. Okay. So it, you have not been studying English for two months. Because because you finished the course two two months ago. All right, excellent. And Samir has not been eating seafood for one year. Ah, okay, that's interesting. It's too much, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's that's a long time. All right, and just to let people know that there there's you can I notice some people are leaving to try and catch the next class, but let's continue for a couple more minutes. And so, can can somebody give me another example of how long it has been since they did something? So, for example, it, it, it's been two weeks since uh, Pedro went out to a restaurant. Uh, I've been. Sorry, I don't know who started speaking there. Uh, uh, Emerson, do you have an example? Alex, would you like to participate? Franz? Yeah, yes. Uh, okay, Alex. Uh, I have been, uh, sorry. Alex, go ahead, please. Yes, uh, I have been uh, staying in uh, at uh, a traffic jam uh, uh -huh. about uh, uh, four, four hours. Okay, so you have been stuck in the past. So you were in a traffic jam for four hours? Yes. That's, that's a bad one. Okay. And, uh, sorry, Emerson? Uh, I have not been uh, playing uh, soccer uh, for two years. Oh, why? Why <laughs> in not? Brazil. In Bolivia, I am Brazilian. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, I, I like watch, but the, the, don't uh, play. <laughs> okay. And Franz? Yeah. I have been studying at university for five years. Okay. Interesting. What have you been studying? Uh, computer engineering. Okay. All right. Great. And so, uh, let me see. When was, when, when, how long, uh, when was the last time you worked? You had to work. <laughs> what? Don't do this. Yeah. When when was the last time you had to work? Because when you've been was... a student. 
And so when was the last time you worked? You when the last time when you work? No. You are a student. Yes? Yes. Franz? Yes, I... No, but hold on. Franz? Yeah, yeah, yes. sorry. Yeah. When, you, when... You are... No, but hold on. You are a student. Correct? No, no, I, I work. I, I... Oh, oh, you work. Oh, okay. Work. Okay. Now, now I work. Now I work. Oh, okay. Now you're working. Okay. All right. I have finished oh, the university at uh, this uh, uh, at December. Uh, okay. All right. And and so good. Good. So uh, yeah, uh, it's when you say I have been studying, that means it's continuous. Uh, and so uh, just Jorge, I need to help you. So um, uh, on your answer there. So I finished a course four months ago. Okay, I have finished the four. I have finished the f uh, my study four months no, ago. No, sorry, sorry. I finished. Oh. I finished. Simple past. Ah, okay. Okay. I have finished. Right. So you have not been going to your class for four months. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, but you have still continued to practice your English. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, I, that's the end of the class. I Please let me know personally and, and let verbling.com know what you think of my grammar classes where we just start practicing making statements. Uh, but uh, those three, or there's maybe four, types of questions using perfect tenses, have you ever, and what have you been doing lately, and how long have you been doing something for? Those kinds of questions are really great for having a conversation in English. And that's the best way to get practice, is to have an interesting conversation with someone in English. So thank you so much for your participation. Great work, everybody. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye, Bye teacher. Easy. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Good work, everybody. Great Bye. questions. Thank you.